Welcome to Screening Room. I'm Robert Gardner. From time to time, I've said on this program that what we wanted to do here was to show uh, the work of independent filmmakers, whether they were uh, struggling newcomers or seasoned veterans, established people. I also have said that on Screening Room, we want to tell people by showing films and by conversations with filmmakers something about what film is and what filmmaking is all about. Today's program for me is a is a program of great importance because there are few people making film today whose work I more admire. I think that the work of uh, my guest today is completely original and very unique in the whole world of cinema. And I refer now to the work of Jan Lenica, who's on my left. He's a man from uh, Poland but living in, in Paris, working in Paris and Munich actually. And we met about seven or eight years ago in in Paris when I was trying to persuade him to come to the United States to work at the Carpenter Center. My other guest is Jerzy Zoltan, who is a long-standing friend of Jan Lenitzas and uh, an old pal of mine from Harvard. We'll be back in just a moment. Uh, we're going away for a station break and we'll come back with a film of uh, Jan Lenitzas. Well, we just saw for a brief moment the next segment that we're going to see of Fantoro. Uh, this one was uh, called Fantoro and uh, Poor Orpheline. The first films that uh, Jan made, uh, do you know the, this, the way he started uh, your Z? Uh, I, I think Borovschik was uh, one of Jan's earliest collaborators, and maybe some of the people in the audience know who Borovschik is because he's uh, a maker of what we call feature films. Right. right. Yes, we made the uh, first uh, films uh, together and then we separated and 
Every is making his own uh, own uh, movies. Uh, Borovchik is also in living now in he's, Paris. He's living now in Paris. Yes, too. yes. And both are kind of noble amateurs in the filmmaking art. What What do you mean by that, uh, Yerzy? Uh, well, uh, uh, no degrees. Ignoble no, as against ignoble commercial or what? Uh, uh, well, uh, uh, I mean, uh, no, putting. Uh, a lot of time and risk uh, which uh, the real amateurs have to put mm -hmm. in before they get to uh, sufficiently to the top that these things start rolling. Mm -hmm. <coughs> well, <coughs> when did things start rolling for, uh, for uh, Jan? Maybe you can ask him in Polish. But what do you mean uh, sta start rolling? Uh, you mean uh, Being filmmaker? So that you could do what you wanted to do, uh, or did you always do what you I, wanted I, to do? I started in, uh, after the war, it was uh, 45, and I began to make drawings, uh, satirical drawings for new, new papers. Then uh, I, I began my studies in on the architecture uh, school in, in Warsaw. But in the same time, I, I made always uh, graphic design and, and posters. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> well, we're going to see some of uh, your posters uh, a little bit later on. Why do you live in Paris? What is, uh, what is particularly attractive about Paris for you uh, as a filmmaker or as an artist or as anything? Or is it not incidental? Uh, it was a little. I made uh, Monsieur Ted uh, some years ago, and then I, I'm feeling well in, in Paris. Uh, Did you I, uh, work on Monsieur Ted in Paris? Yes. Yes. It was, it was already made. It in was Paris. my first yes. uh, French yeah. uh, film. What year was uh, Monsieur Ted? Because this is the next film we're going to see. Um, it was uh, 60, 60 or sixty-one. Mm -hmm. 60 or 61. But you'd made uh, films with Borshik uh, in the 50s. In the 50s in, yeah. in Warsaw. Um, why don't we go now to uh, the first film uh, made in Paris in 61 called Monsieur Tet, because uh, we will get a lot out of this film, which we will be seeing in subsequent films on the program, and we can begin discussion about his filmmaking from it. <laughs> 